Apple has made it super easy to compare your edited photos with the original. On iPhone, having made your edits, just simply tap once on the photo and the original will display for a second or two before automatically switching back to the edited version. This only works whilst you're editing the photo. Tapping on the photo outside of the editor will open it in the viewer. You can, however, jump back into the editor at any time to view the original. Tap on revert if you decide you want to cancel your edits and revert back to the original photo permanently. You can do the same thing here by tapping on the menu icon and choosing revert to original. As you might expect, it's exactly the same process on iPad. Simply tap on your photo to see a quick one or two second view of the original. On Mac, you click on the edit button and then you click or tap and hold on this icon to see the original. If you're not happy with your changes, again, simply choose the option to revert to original. One of the nice things I like about syncing my photos using iCloud is that you can compare your edited photos to the original regardless of which device you made the edits on. So if I edit the color of this photo on my iPad and then view the same photo on my Mac, I'm still able to compare the edited version with the original. And I can choose to revert back to the original on my Mac if I want to. Before you go, one more thing you might find useful is the option to copy and paste your edits across multiple photos. So for example, on your iPhone or iPad, you can tap on the menu icon, choose copy edits, and then you can simply choose paste on a different photo to recreate the same effect. On Mac, you can either bring up the context menu and choose copy edits, or if you prefer the keyboard shortcut, is Command, Shift and C to copy. It's then just a matter of choosing the photo you wish to apply the effect to and either choosing Paste Edit from the context menu or pressing Command, Shift and V will do the same thing. So that is how you compare edited photos with the original. If you found the video useful, I'd appreciate you giving me a like and hitting subscribe for lots more quick tips on all your Apple devices. And you might also be interested in a quick way to resize all your images in one go or tips on getting the most from the workout app on your Apple Watch. Until next time, my name is Anthony. Thank you very much for watching.